In the world of space exploration, there are moments that redefine what we believe is possible. Just weeks ago, SpaceX achieved the unthinkable, catching a massive rocket booster in midair with mechanical arms, like a cosmic juggling act that left the world in awe. It was Flight 5, and it seemed to prove that nothing was beyond SpaceX's reach. But space has always had a way of humbling even the boldest pioneers. Flight 6 was supposed to be the next triumph in this remarkable journey. Instead, it became a powerful reminder that pushing the boundaries of space exploration isn't about perfect victories. It's about learning from every launch, every decision, and yes, every splashdown. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you behind the scenes of Starship Flight 6, where SpaceX faced a critical choice, attempt another spectacular catch, or prioritize safety and data collection with an ocean landing. With 33 Raptor engines generating a staggering 16 million pounds of thrust and a rocket nearly 400 feet tall, the stakes couldn't have been higher. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. The morning of November 19 dawned clear over Starbase, Texas. As the sun rose over the Gulf of Mexico, it illuminated what has become the world's most ambitious spacecraft, Starship standing tall against the Texas sky. But this wasn't just another test flight. This was Flight 6, coming just weeks after SpaceX had achieved what many thought impossible, catching a massive rocket booster with mechanical arms. The evolution of Starship. Let's rewind to understand just how far we've come. Each Starship flight has written its own chapter in modern space history. Flight 1 ended in a spectacular explosion, with debris raining down and the launch pad looking like a war zone. Engineers worked around the clock, studying every frame of footage, every data point. Flight 2 made it further, but still ended with the booster meeting an explosive fate after separation. By flights 3 and 4, SpaceX was hitting milestones that seemed impossible just months earlier. Each launch brought new innovations, new solutions, and new challenges to overcome. The rocket systems were becoming more refined, more reliable. The team at SpaceX was learning, adapting, and pushing forward with remarkable speed. Then came Flight 5, the game changer. For the first time in history, a rocket booster was caught by mechanical arms after returning from space. It was a moment that belonged in science fiction, yet SpaceX made it reality. The world watched in awe as Mechazilla, those massive mechanical arms, gracefully caught a rocket that had just been traveling at hypersonic speeds. The unexpected turn, which brings us back to Flight 6. The launch itself was breathtaking. 33 Raptor engines igniting simultaneously, creating a massive plume of fire and smoke that lit up the morning sky. The ground shook for miles around as 16 million pounds of thrust pushed Starship skyward. Everything was going according to plan. Stage separation was perfect, a crucial milestone that had caused problems in earlier flights. The Starship upper stage continued its journey while the super heavy booster began its descent. This was the moment everyone was waiting for. Would we see another spectacular catch? But space exploration often throws curveballs. Behind the scenes, SpaceX engineers were monitoring a complex web of data. The booster's communication systems were sending critical positioning information to the tower, but something wasn't quite right. The margins for error in catching a massive rocket with mechanical arms are incredibly small. We're talking about precision measured in meters while dealing with a structure as tall as a 40-story building. The technical challenge. What many don't realize is that catching a booster isn't just about having strong mechanical arms. It's an intricate dance of software, hardware, and split-second timing. The booster needs to know exactly where it is in relation to the tower, down to the smallest detail. The tower's systems need to predict exactly where the booster will be at each moment of its descent. Even a fraction of a second's delay in communication could mean the difference between a successful catch and a costly accident. Sources within SpaceX later revealed that during Flight 6, the team noticed subtle anomalies in the data stream between the booster and tower. While the booster was performing beautifully, the risk assessment algorithms were flagging potential synchronization issues. This was exactly the kind of scenario SpaceX had prepared for. The decision in the control room, 
flight directors had mere moments to make a crucial decision. Their options, proceed with the catching attempt despite the warning signs, or switch to the backup plan, a controlled ocean splashdown. This wasn't just about one test flight, it was about the entire future of the Starship program. They chose safety and data collection over spectacle. The booster was commanded to execute its contingency protocol, directing it toward a predetermined splashdown zone in the Gulf of Mexico. This decision, while disappointing to some observers, showcased SpaceX's commitment to methodical, safety-first development, the political dimension. Adding another layer to this already complex situation was the presence of President-elect Trump at the launch site. Space exploration has always been intertwined with politics, dating back to the Apollo era. Trump's attendance highlighted the growing importance of commercial space ventures in national space policy. His previous support during SpaceX's first crewed launch in 2020 had helped pave the way for closer cooperation between private space companies and government agencies. The Road Ahead What many viewed as a setback actually demonstrated significant progress in several areas. For the first time, SpaceX had a smooth regulatory process. No lengthy FAA delays, no extended waiting periods. The modified launch license covering multiple flights proved that the regulatory framework was adapting to the pace of innovation. Engineering teams gained valuable data about the booster's performance during controlled descent and water landing. This information is crucial not just for backup procedures, but also for future launches from locations where tower catches might not be possible. Every splash, every splash down, every deviation from the plan adds to SpaceX's growing database of knowledge. The future of Starship, Elon Musk's announcement about future flights revealed an ambitious roadmap. Flight 7 will see another ocean landing, but with significant upgrades. The introduction of Block 2 Starship Featuring Ship 33 paired with Booster 14 represents a major leap forward. The new design includes thinner forward flaps, 25% more propellant capacity, and the revolutionary Raptor 3 engines. But perhaps most exciting is what's planned for Flight 8. Attempting to catch both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship upper stage using the Mechazilla Tower. It's an ambitious goal that would essentially create the world's first fully reusable, super-heavy launch system. Behind the scenes, the technology that makes all this possible is mind-boggling. The chopsticks, those mechanical arms that catch the booster, are engineering marvels in themselves. They must be strong enough to catch a massive rocket booster, yet precise enough to handle it gently. The tower's positioning system is more accurate than the most advanced GPS, capable of tracking the booster's position down to centimeters even as it descends at high speeds. During Flight 6, all these systems were functioning, but the engineering team's commitment to perfection meant they wouldn't attempt a catch unless every parameter was absolutely perfect. This attention to detail, while sometimes frustrating to observers eager for another spectacular catch, is exactly what has allowed SpaceX to achieve so much in such a short time. Evolving technology. The Block 2 improvements mentioned earlier aren't just incremental changes. They represent fundamental improvements in rocket technology. The new propellant capacity and engine configurations will allow Starship to carry over 100 tons to orbit while remaining fully reusable. That's more than twice the payload capacity of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket but with the ability to be used again and again. The introduction of Raptor 3 engines is particularly significant. These new engines simplify the overall design by eliminating the need for additional shielding while also providing more efficient operation. Each change, each improvement, brings us closer to Musk's ultimate goal, making humanity a multi-planetary species. What Flight 6 really teaches us is that true innovation isn't about perfect victories. It's about making smart decisions in critical moments. While the world expected another spectacular catch, SpaceX showed us something perhaps even more valuable, the wisdom to prioritize safety and data over spectacle. This is how real progress in space exploration is made. Looking ahead, the future of Starship is brighter than ever. With Block 2 improvements on the horizon and plans for catching both stages in Flight 8, we're witnessing the evolution of space technology in real time. 
The journey from explosive first test to precise mechanical catches hasn't been straight or simple, but each launch, each decision, each splash down brings us closer to making life multiplanetary. SpaceX's approach reminds us that sometimes taking a step back is the best way to move forward. As we anticipate Flight 7 in early 2025, featuring the revolutionary Ship 33 and its enhanced capabilities, one thing is clear. The race to Mars isn't about rushing forward at any cost. It's about moving forward intelligently, safely, and purposefully. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. If you found this deep dive into Starship's journey valuable, help us spread the word about humanity's greatest adventure. Hit that subscribe button to join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Drop a like if you learned something new and share your thoughts about Flight 6's strategic splashdown in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on all future Starship launches and SpaceX developments. Until next time, keep looking up. The future is being built right before our eyes. October 13, 2023 marked a historic moment in spaceflight. SpaceX's Mechazilla arms gracefully caught their massive Super Heavy booster mid-air, a feat that left the space industry in awe. This wasn't just another rocket landing. It was a glimpse into the future of rapid rocket reusability that could revolutionize our journey to Mars. But halfway across the world, this achievement sent ripples through China's aerospace sector. Within weeks, Cosmo Leap, a Chinese startup founded just months earlier, secured $14 million in funding to build their own version of SpaceX's catching system. Their blueprints? Remarkably familiar. So familiar that even Elon Musk couldn't help but comment. Look familiar. This isn't just about catching rockets. It's about the race for space dominance. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible, China's private space companies are watching, learning, and moving fast to close the gap. But in the complex world of rocket science, copying the design is one thing. Mastering the technology is another entirely. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're diving deep into China's ambitious plan to replicate SpaceX's groundbreaking technology, the challenges they face, and what this means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. Let's start by examining what makes SpaceX's Mechazilla system so revolutionary. This isn't just a pair of mechanical arms. It's a precisely choreographed dance between rocket and machine. The system uses advanced AI-driven algorithms to track the booster's descent, adjusting for wind conditions and atmospheric variables in real time. Each catch requires accuracy down to centimeters.